All right, now we're going to look at the last few schematic symbols, and we'll have covered most of the ones that you're going to run into. You'll see several more, but these are the basic ones that you'll run into every day out in the field, or nearly every day out in the field. All right, solenoid valve. Look at this. The solenoid valve looks just like the relay symbol, and that indicates that it it is a coil activated device and it is electronically controlled it's an electronically controlled valve not a switch so instead of controlling the flow of electrons and the electrical circuit it opens and closes and controls refrigerant water and gas in the HVAC community so you know this could also control fuel in some type of system if you needed to control the flow of on and off of fuel electrically. So solenoid valves open and close when power is applied or disabled from the coil and these these are in normally in the closed position when when the circuit is at rest but just remember that the solenoid valve is only going to show this one this one schematic symbol and then you'll have to go down to the legend when you see that schematic symbol to see that it is the solenoid valve coil that turns it on and off. Thermistors. These are these are not control devices. These are temperature sensing devices. They're used to sense return air temperature, supply air temperature, refrigerant line temperature like you see down here at the bottom. They are also used to measure water temperature and uh, ambient air temperature as well. So they are, it is a resistor and this is the schematic symbol here that changes temperature excuse me, it, it changes resistance based on the temperature so with a positive temperature coefficient thermistor as the temperature rises the resistance if you measure it with your meter rises negative temperature coefficient as the temperature rises the resistance decreases and vice versa so let's go over that again Positive temperature coefficient thermistor. Temperature rises, resistance rises. Negative temperature coefficient, temperature rises, resistance decreases. These are used exclusively to send information to a control board, and it's in the higher efficiency equipment where it can, the control board can read the resistance and determine the temperature of the system based on the resistance of the thermistor. And then electronic control boards. You'll see these more and more. We'll get into troubleshooting and uh, plugging these into a schematic diagram, but they have relays, sensors, timers, um, connections. They'll have lights, the fuse, and so forth. So we have input and output from these boards, and this is where we would connect a, a therm thermistor would be connected to send this that temperature information to the control board. All right, guys, that's the end of this lesson. We'll move on to uh, the different parts of a circuit and what it takes, and then we'll press forward on schematic diagrams.